You know you're a redneck if you saw the title of this video and you thought, hell yeah. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. We've microwaved handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, and rifle ammo, including a 50 BMG, and none of those really had that great of results. The most dangerous was the 50 BMG, and all it did was open up the microwave door. The reason is, when they're blown up in a microwave, they don't have that chamber to direct the force, so all the force just goes out evenly. Um, but if we put it in a barrel like this, and the microwave is able to set that cartridge off, it should all be directed out the barrel and should fire just like normal handguns. So I bought this Glock 19. This is chambered in 9mm, and uh, we're going to see if um, the Glock will fire in the microwave. I doubt it will, um, just because there's so much metal and plastic to absorb that radiation, but um, we're going to find out. Let me just prove this is a real Glock. I have a 9mm. Load it in here. So. This is a real pistol. What you're looking at here is the pinnacle of microwave bunker technology. Let's go in for a closer look. This will answer one of those mysteries the universe has wanted answered for so long. Which is stronger, a Glock or a microwave? I have the Glock, it's not loaded yet, but this is where it will be sitting. And it is positioned so it will fire into the heart of the microwave, the magnetron. So will the Glock fire first, killing the microwave, before the microwave is able to melt the plastic frame of the Glock and therefore enabling it to fall over and not shoot at the heart of the microwave. There's only one way to find out. I have trimmed this so that we'll be able to see. This is a screen and I didn't take it all. A lot of people wanted me to take it all, but if you take it all, um, it won't heat up as fast in there. This stuff actually reflects a lot of the microwaves back in. So I think this is trimmed enough that we'll be able to see what's going on without taking too much heat away. All right, here's the live cartridge and it's a hollow point. You know what that means? Nothing's going to stop it. Loaded in the chamber right there. Going to close the slide and this thing's ready to fire. There's the loaded Glock in the microwave set for 20 minutes. A GoPro and an SLR camera down here. All right, fire and hole. That microwave instantly cooked my GoPro. I'm gonna scoot it back. Let's try it again. Looks like the Glock is already starting to melt, so I think I know who the winner's gonna be. We'll put it on 10 minutes. Yes! I heard a huge pop. I was getting ready to give up on it. 
and I actually was just kind of hanging out because I usually wait about 10 minutes after uh, the microwave goes off just to make sure everything cools down. And I heard a gun go off in the microwave bunker. So, let's check it out. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything in there. Let's see what we got here. Spin out the edge of the air of the microwave. Ooh, it's hot in there. <laughs> uh, my Glock is totally melted. It did not survive that torture test. Looks like a bullet definitely fired in the back. I'll let that cool down for a few minutes and I'll go in and pull it out. While we wait, I was turning off the cameras and I think microwaves may fry GoPros, FYI, because now it's saying I have no SD card, which there definitely is an SD card in there. But anyway, the GoPro footage is probably not recorded at all. Yeah, this thing's not even restarting. Let's pull that battery out. I feel like I'm doing CPR on the GoPro. Come on, buddy, you can make it. All right, looks good so far. Um, never seen that before. Cool. Yes, GoPro lives. It just didn't record anything. Let's see what we got. It's been cooling down for about 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Here's our shell. And this thing is not bulged at all because it fired in a chamber like it's supposed to. You can see that it has fired. Let's see if I can get that to focus on it has fired, there's no bullet in there, and the primer has not been struck, so it was fired just by heat from the microwave. Here is the gun. God, I love it's still really hot. Um, yeah. Obviously all melted. The metal all looks pretty normal, but the uh, frame obviously does not. It is totally gone. Here's the recoil spring. The guide rod inside it is melted. There's pieces falling off this gun. There's all the tape. Wow. That was a lot worse than I thought it'd be. I wonder if I can pull that slide back. Ow, not yet. It's still very hot. I'm gonna just pull that slide off. There you go. It goes right back. Perfect. I wasn't watching, so I'm not real sure what happened, but what I assume happened is it fell over because it melted and then fired back into the corner. There is a little hole back in the wall there, so I assume that's where the bullet went through. And looks like it came out over there. Yep, right there. That's where the bullet came through. And there's a piece of the copper jacket. Actually, really didn't have a whole lot of power once it got through that microwave. It, it put a big dent here. Not a big dent, put a small dent here. Oh, there's another hole. So I was looking at this hole in the corner. There's actually another hole, huge hole right there. So that's where the bullet went through. And now looking at it, you can see, and it came through right there. I'm not sure where that bullet is. So the question remains, who won? The Glock, obviously. Not a winner, it is inoperable. The microwave. Let's see, having a little trouble, but still working. Microwave wins. I'm actually pretty excited about this one because the microwave definitely won, but with his dying breath, this Glock fired a bullet. He did not go down without a fight and tore up that microwave pretty good. So anyway, I hope you guys will give me a thumbs up on this video because I, uh, I burned my Glock for you. Anyway, I'm probably going to slack off on these microwave videos a little bit, um, and I'll still put one out every so often, it just won't be a weekly basis. And that's, uh, that's to make room for some other ideas I have for the YouTube channel. Um, if you still have microwave ideas, go ahead and comment them below. Make sure they're unique. I get a lot of comments about you know, things in microwave that have already been done on YouTube, and I don't want to copy anybody. So think of some really good, unique ideas, like a loaded pistol, and um, Put them in the comments. I still read them even though it's getting kind of kind of crazy, but I do try to keep up with it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the Militia Ranch. I hope you like this video. Sorry to all the Glock lovers. See you next time.
Thanks for watching. Clocks are so ergonomic. Clear. <laughs>